my name is Damian Gluchowski. I am the founder and director of Fertility Argentina. Fertility Argentina is the unit of international patients at Sahir, the clinic, the first clinic that did an IVF in Argentina. We've been working with international patients for more than 10 years. Nowadays, we see more than 250 patients coming from abroad, especially coming from the US, Canada, Australia, and the rest of South America. At the beginning, uh, most of the patients came for egg donation uh, because there was a huge difference in the cost here in the States and there in Argentina. But nowadays, more and more people are coming also for IVF with own eggs. So egg donation is still the main reason why people come, for, but IVF with own eggs is uh, a treatment and a service that we give to and they are coming for that. There are many reasons why individuals um, choose to do a treatment abroad. Some of those reasons could be related with costs, some of those reasons could be related with going to another place because you cannot do that kind of treatment at home or in your own country. And also there are some people who uh, want to do or to have a vacation and they choose a nice destination to do um, a medical treatment. So uh, we try to combine everything. Argentina is a nice place where to go. Um, we have a really high level of um, medical services. Um, specifically talking about IVF, we have a really good Ember Lab and also costs, um, as I mentioned before, are really low. And this is because our program has a sheer um, egg donor program, so the, the costs are shared by several recipients. And for those choosing IVF uh, with own eggs, it is also low because medical fees are lower than in the United States. So um, reasons to why to choose uh, a, a country abroad uh, are different, but all combined is uh, the reason why you can choose this or that. Some other reason why people decide to go to another country is because they are looking for a more personalized uh, service. So that is something where we put a lot of attention. I really like to take care of my patients um, in a personal way. So we get in touch and they contact us by email, by telephone, Skype, WhatsApp, whatever they need. We like them to feel as if they were at home. So we really have um, a very fluent communication and we like them to be available to ask and receive those replies as soon as possible. Egg donation is a very common treatment. Um, people uh, come to do egg donation because of women's age or because of the diminished ovarian reserve uh, or because they treat, um, they had many uh, IVF cycles and they have um, repetitive uh, IVF failure. Um, we have a large egg donor program more than 500 recipients every year. And we have a shared egg donor program which helps to reduce the cost of the treatment. Uh, besides, in Argentina, the cost of medical services are lower than in the United States. And that's the reason why we have a much lower price than in the States. Um, besides, and it is very important, we have a very effective um, uh, egg donor uh, program and uh, the reason is that we have a nice embryo lab. We push all our embryos up to blastocyst stage and we guarantee blastocyst transfer. Blastocyst is a day five embryo 
and there is good quality evidence showing that, uh, that transferring on plasticity stage, uh, you have better results. So we guarantee at least six mature eggs for our recipients, and we guarantee also a blastocyst ember transfer. And then we have 60 to 65% uh, clinical pregnancy rate. Egg freezing is a, is a good way of thinking about the future of a woman. Egg freezing is to plan the fertility for the future. So if you, uh, as a woman, are not thinking about having a baby in the next few years, and if you are around 30, 35, years old or even some uh, years after that, you, sh uh, you should think about freezing some eggs. Um, the thing is that if you freeze eggs, you can use them in the future and you can get a pregnancy or not. Uh, I don't know, you don't know, but there is a chance. If you don't freeze eggs, in the future you won't have these eggs. You will have those eggs that are some years older. So um, there is no reason uh, to avoid freezing eggs. The only reason is financial. But once you decide it, and if you can pay for that, uh, you have an additional uh, opportunity of having a baby because you will have younger eggs with a higher implantation rate and a lower chance of having miscarriage. So definitely um, freezing eggs is a good idea. Reasons why people do IVF are mainly related with women's age and sperm uh, um, abnormalities. Um, in the last 20 years, uh, the, there was an increase above about 30% of women between 35 and 39 years old that have babies, and more than 50% in women between 40 and 44 years old. So women are getting pregnancies, um, some older than before, and that makes it a little more difficult. You know that um, when women have uh, a, a more an, an, an older age, uh, chances of having a baby are lower because the implantation rate is lower and also the miscarriage rate is higher. So there are more and more couples needing um, an IVF treatment if they start looking for a baby when the woman uh, is some older. So um, that is one of the main reasons. Sperm uh, abnormalities is uh, one of the other reasons, uh, and, but uh, we have good treatments with IVF and NICSI to resolve that kind of problems. I like soccer, I play soccer every weekend, I play tennis every weekend and I train uh, every week doing uh, CrossFit. I like snowboard too and uh, well I really enjoy working with my patients. I, I, I enjoy talking with them and explaining uh, the rates, the, the probabilities of, of getting uh, the, the, the goal, the objective, the baby and I enjoy when they say wow I finally understood what you were explaining so uh, that is what I am, that is what I do.